Hey guys, Spider Games here, and welcome to part two of my legendary farming videos. So here we're gonna start with Old Gullet Sinkhole, which is located up north, way above you know Diamond City. So when you get here, you're gonna find this giant crater. It's actually a sinkhole. It looks like a bomb is dropped here, but whatever. You'll find that Death Claw. It could be a legendary Alpha Death Claw, which would be cool. And you'll see this water current. At the end of the water current is actually a cave. So you want to do a quick save before you even go near the water and jump in because it'll suck you right into the cave. Here we go. Now the quick save, I'm going to explain to you what loot locking is real quick in case you've never seen my videos. Loot locking is the ability to choose your legendary weapons. There's more to it than that. I'll explain to you as the video goes on, but as you can see, I'm not satisfied with what I see here. There's no legendaries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load that quick save that I strategically placed outside that cave entrance. Now that I go in, there's a legendary, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the legendary and see what it has. I'm actually looking for a hunting rifle. It has some leather shit. I'm not looking for that, so I'm going to go ahead and load that quick save again. Now, auto saves need to be turned on for loot locking to work. As I go through that loading screen, the auto save happens. What that does is it changes the effect on a weapon. So when I go up here and I kill that legendary again, he's going to have a hunting rifle. And what I'm actually looking for specifically is a two shot hunting rifle. So instead of loading that quick save, I'm going to load the auto save. And what that does is it changes the effect. As you can see here, I get the assassin hunting rifle, nocturnal hunting rifle, um, kneecapper hunting rifle. Uh, what's this crippling hunting rifle? I get the never-ending crippling or yeah never-ending hunting rifle I'm getting mixed up and then finally the two shot hunting rifle, which is what I'm looking for That's how it works, and that's this spot. I hope it helps Okay, next place we're going to is University Point which is located just southeast of Diamond City along the coast there So it's impossible to miss once you get here We're looking for a specific building which is called Sedwick Hall it looks just like this right meow And once you get here do the quick save That's the most important part before going through the doors or else you are screwed And then you can go ahead and pass through the door nothing to worry about once you get in though you're gonna see this door dead ahead it is an expert locked door don't worry there's another way around this if you don't have the expert skill unlocked yet but go ahead lock pick that door and once you get through it what we're looking for are three murlurks one of them is going to be the legendary so just shoot at the eggs that'll usually get them to pop up so this one happened to be the Legendary right off the bat, but speaking of bats, that's all I get from it But I'm gonna show you the locations of the other two murlurks that you need to look at my lurks, whatever Right below here you see those eggs you can shoot at those to get him to emerge, but I don't do that So there's one and there's the other Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load that quick save. I'm gonna erase that auto save just get it out of here now I'm going to go through the doors again, you know this part, this is how loot locking works. Now I'm getting the murlurks to emerge and I'm looking at them trying to loot lock. What I'm trying to loot lock here, because the combat shotgun does happen to pop up, um, I was trying to go for the two shot combat shotgun to compare it to the explosive in another video that I'm going to be making. But sadly I don't get either to pop up, that's one thing that does happen is you just don't get the explosive or or the two shot to ever show up ever. So this is the elevator. This is how you get in if you do not have the lockpick skill. You go to this computer and you go ahead and open the elevator doors. Now you're not going to be riding an elevator. Instead there's a hatch door you're going to be jumping through. Jump down there and you're right where you would be as if you were to lockpick that door. So it's all gravy. And if you can't get the explosive shotgun to show up, go ahead and loot lock a different item, clear this area, and move on to the next loot locking spot. Next place we're going to is College Square. So specifically, we're going to be going to the subway station, College Square Station. Haha. -ha. So once you get there, hopefully, I'm going to warn you about this. I went there as I was doing the Brotherhood quest, so... All everything, all the enemies were very low level, including the protectrons, which is what we're going to be loot locking. See this structure here? We're going to go down those stairs and make sure you do the quick save. So, anyways, I emphasize that because people seem to forget that a lot. But everything in here is low level for me. If you can get here before the Brotherhood 
uh, quest, side quest, or after, sometime after. I'm not even sure if this place respawns. It's not doing anything for me. So hopefully it's going to do better for you. So I got the shit end of the stick when it comes to this spot. But it's loot lockable nonetheless. That's why I'm showing it to you. You will appreciate it. But you just kill off these guys. What I'm doing is I can only loot lock the uh, Protectrons. So I check and see if it's even legendary before I even do anything or else I'll you know load the quick save but you have to lock pick this door and on the other side of the door there's going to be a terminal you got to hack that bitch and then the uh not the assault rods but the protect rods will be free to roam around which means you can shoot at them and kill them and they're loot lockable so this qualifies to be in this video but anyways um one thing you need to be aware of is they are robots and legendary robots explode two times and it can catch you off guard and get you killed which is just sad if if it just happened you know the weapon that you're looking for just happens to pop up that would be very very sad but i'm gonna do it again just show you this spot i really did not like it i only loot locked one thing just to show that it's possible to loot lock, but see, you have to go through all this shit. This buck kind of sucks, but I'm showing it to you anyways, just because it does work. But yeah, it qualifies for this video. But that's there's nothing else to it. Try to get here before or after the Brotherhood crap, or else everything's gonna be super low level for you. Next is Suffolk County Charter School. So this spot is actually really good. Now, it's actually down south, right below Diamond City. And when you get here, you're going to see this collapsed staircase. You can jump up that and skip all the wraparounds that you have to do throughout the building. So, go to the end of this hallway here. You're going to see these double doors. There's going to be four regular assholes and one big bloated asshole. You're going to shoot him in the knees just to stop him from tackling you and shit. Now, this spot is really good. It produces the higher end stuff that you want. So here I get this leg, so you know, I load the quick save and all that shit. Now I get the never ending pistol and I start loot locking the pistol just to see if it is loot lockable and then it just stops being loot lockable for me. So I know the spot is loot lockable. I loot locked it a little bit more than that, but then I wasn't able to loot lock after that. So I got screwed, but you guys should be able to loot lock here. It puts out the higher end weapons. Go here. Next spot is at Faneuil Hall, so I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Faneuil Hall. So this spot is actually really good, it produces the higher end weapons, and we've got super mutants. I'm just showing you a little bit because downtown could be a little confusing to some, including me. So make sure you do your quick save or else no loot locking for you. Now when you get down to the basement, which is the only spot that you can go to really, but anyways. That's where you're going to find your legendary enemy to loot lock. So, I want you to keep in mind, I learned this from another loot locking spot that I'm going to be putting in a future video, that the super mutants actually produce the higher end weapons, and they actually put out a lot of miniguns. So, this would be a good spot to loot lock for the explosive minigun. I'm unable to because I actually screwed this spot up. I can't go back to it. I was going to save it for later, but yeah. See, there's a gauze rifle. That's proof right there that this is a higher end spot for you. Now the last place on my list is West Roxbury Station. I wish that I could say that this spot is a good spot, but it's not. This spot I hate. The only reason why I put it in my video is because, like I said, this can be like a 5-6 video series. I got 20 spots in mine. More to find. But yeah, this place sucks. It's right across the street from Fallon's Market. And you're going to find these doors. It's down inside the subway station. So why does this place suck? It has super mutants, which is good. They produce higher end weapons. But only one out of ten times does a legendary that you can loot lock ever spawn. The only way that you can loot lock here is if the super mutant behind the counter spawns as a legendary. So he did the first time I went down there. I thought this spot was going to be tight. But I ended up trying to loot lock here for hours just to get him to spawn a couple more times with no success. But yeah, this spot is on the list just because 
um, you might find it useful, especially if you're trying to loot lock for armor pieces like the one that gets your charisma real high so that you can, you know, get a lot of settlers. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. For the previous video, which is what this footage is from, click on the annotation on the top right screen. Subscribe for future videos. Like I said, this is a brand new series that I'm going to keep doing, and there's going to be a lot of videos in this series. So yeah, subscribe for that. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you in the next video.